So that was quite an extraordinary intro for a video. You are probably wondering, where are we? Well, this place is something really unique. We are standing in a shopping mall currently in Belgium. But the strangest thing of all is that all their products, their clothes, shoes, everything they sold there, it's left behind. Everything. This shopping mall got abandoned four years ago due to bankruptcy. And ever since, just all the items and products they sold inside of here are left behind. And I have never seen something like that before. I am so excited to show you this place, so let's just do this. Okay, so over here was the main entrance of the shopping mall. I am walking here through the detection field to prevent this place from burglary. And we made our way inside, guys. Take a look over here. Complete cash encounter with the people who purchase all their products. It's quite dark in this place, but we will go into further detail to show you everything which is left behind in this store. So, right over here, we have a department for all the shoes. Just take a look. All the shoe boxes and everything. Unbelievable. And they are all still inside the box. I mean, take a look. Might not be my style of shoes I wear, but they're still left behind. And that's not the only brand. Also big brands like Adidas, but also Nike, Puma, everything is just left behind there. And I'm really wondering why they didn't sold all the products and just left them behind of this place. So what we gotta do is just do a quick guide around to this place. Just a walk through to show you everything, the most interesting features of this mall. Over here is just a complete box which is filled with shoes, children's shoes actually. So I am standing at the cashing register over here, just all the pieces of clothes are still hanging there on the hangers. Take a look, this is unbelievable and such a shame. They should donate this to a charity organization and not leave it catching dust and mold inside of the place. Also some skirts over here. You can already see the presence of mold on them. Come have a look. You can already see the mold on them. Such a shame. Some trousers, even more leather skirts. Even the label still on it with the size and the price. Those were 50 euros. So, not really cheap clothes they sold there actually, and then you're wondering why they leave them behind. Just left to rot. Another jacket. 100 euros was this one. That's around 120, 125 dollars. It's crazy, isn't it? You can see here behind me is a huge hall with even more clothes we are about to find. It's very dark inside of here, but despite that, it won't kill the fun. We have some proper lights with us. Then over here you can even see the mannequins on the ground. Even more clothes. And there is actually a bar area. Go have a look. So I think this was kind of a lounging area. As you can see here, the seats in front of us. People would just hang out, and over here they had a bar. You can even see the Adidas shoes on the design of the bar wall over here. Crazy. Well, let's take a look behind the bar because, as a bartender myself, I love to be in abandoned bars. I love it. Quite strange, this was a blender, like a mixer for milkshakes. Over here the ashtray is still filled with cigarettes, but they have been laying here for quite an amount of time. And then this is the bar. Take a look guys, isn't this unbelievable? The glasses are just completely left behind untouched. And then next to 
coffee machine. Coffee powder dispensers. Also the cash and register. Even with the key, still on it. Money has been taken out though. And some taps for a nice Belgian beer. There's no running tap water or something still on it. I can get my head straight around this, how this can be abandoned. And I will probably say it around 20 times and you guys will comment, you are so repetitive. Well, I'm sorry, but this is just crazy and unreal. Even other Belgian beer glasses. This is a brand, Jupiler. It's one of my favorite Belgian pilsners. But also iced tea glasses and Smirnoff glasses with ping wings. And let's take a look behind the scenes. A little storage. And if we take a look to the ceiling, you can also see all the cope webs and the hangers of the stores. Those are actually some pretty well-known brands nowadays. Bench, but also Esprit. Crazy. Take a look. If people don't believe this place is abandoned, this is the evidence. Everything is just resting in the spider webs here. of mid old bottles. I wish we had this at our work. This is to clean the glasses. This one was 40 euros compared to the other jackets. That's quite cheap actually. 48, that was the size. I'm wondering what the brand's name is. Love, it's in here. I don't know the brand. Maybe it doesn't exist now. Ooh, there's actually a dead spider on it. I just grabbed it and there's a dead spider on the coat. Can you see it? Take a look. Jeeks. <laughs> well, now from there, we just continue or explore to some other parts of the mall. Those are actually men's trousers. They're also very dusty. I will not tell you too much and some things I will still remain as a surprise but this is only the beginning. If you thought this was already a lot of clothes, which it is exactly, but there's even more to follow on the upstairs floor so it's gonna be insane guys. It's just crazy how everything is just perfectly still hanging next to each other like it was left yesterday. area over here is quite empty there is not really much to see but you can tell the state of this repair over here the ceiling panels aren't present anymore they are just gone although it looks like they wanted to fix up this place but it never happened and take a look over here the brand Puma I think everyone knows the brand nowadays and that's also another brand they sold there left from the Puma sign 
Nike. Nike sign. It's crazy how you can still see the brand's names they used to sold in these departments in the store on Tabo Fair. That was Clark's. That was a woman's brand. And these are the signs that they perhaps wanted to renovate this place. All these wooden planks, but it never happened, sadly enough. And maybe they are still making plans to do it in the future, but I really have no clue. Such a huge area here. Over here they actually sold stockings. Stockings, underwear for the ladies. It's just literally everywhere. Furthermore, everything is quite empty. I mean, you can still see the restants and the remains of the shop over here. Mirror, to look at yourself, with all the clothes are good enough. I don't know what this is. It's just crazy. It's like a zombie apocalypse broke out and eventually just all the clothes were left behind. Never sold. Such a shame for the poorer people. Because they could easily donate them to these people before burglars find out about this place. The mirror was smashed here. Don't know if it was done by humanity or by nature. But we are making our way up now. This was actually for all the light spots. I think it used to hang on the walls or the ceiling. But no items or products are left behind on this floor. Speedo. I think everyone knows that brand, at least most of the people who are watching. Even the Adidas signs, crazy. They just store some products here in the boxes. And you can tell they definitely wanted to do something to fix this place up. But eventually, I assume to lack of, due to lack of money, that never happened, obviously. There's actually another way up to a third floor. Oh, your feet. It's actually a serving brand. Which used to stand there. Crazy. Also, wear just on the ground. Some shoes and the hand of a mannequin. Wow. Take a look. All these boxes here. This one is actually empty. This one too, but there are still some shoes left. And even sandals and everything. Unbelievable the quantity of all these products which are still laying here. I'm wondering why they were never sold and if they wanted to fix this place up at least 
you would take the products outright. I mean, to me, is that a logic way of thinking? Even more boxes, all stapled onto each other. Another side part over here. Uh, just for some storage purposes. And he had a hanger here to hang some products inside of it. Maybe hats or something like that. Nike Air. Nike Air, it's saying it. So, actually, just found another floor. Opened this door, and there is an attic where there's even more storage and everything. Follow me. Thought you already saw everything. There's yet even more. Wow. Look at these leather woman boots. I think those are quite expensive ones. It's quite narrow to walk here, but just have a look what we can find. There's many woman boots. All in these boxes stages are left behind everywhere. I think there is no other country in the world where that would be possible. How are all these products just catching dust there, left unloved? There's probably 1,000, maybe even 2,000 boxes of them, all still filled. Old man shoes. And eventually we finally come to an end. It stops here. And imagine it on the other side is also completely filled with all these boxes. Okay, the door is closed. We cover this part right now. And it's time for us to go to the other part, which I talked about and which is absolutely insane. Multiple shoes, thousands of shoes, pieces of clothes, everything is there. So let's go for it. The elevator is still working. That is just ridiculously insane. <laughs> this, wow. is <laughs> this is unreal. This is unreal. Which button did you push on? Taking the elevator? No pick. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Do you trust it or not? Yes. Okay, so you're probably gonna hate me because this may be not safe, but this is just a small child of me which comes back. I wanna try this out, so we're taking the elevator to the downstairs. Let's close the fans. I'm so scared. No, no. I'm so scared. You ready? No. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Just my. Take a look at the parts, the mannequins, the legs and everything are resting in this box. And it's time, as promised, to go to the other part. Take a look at the colored walls. And apparently this was a brand they sold there. Oaksbau. I saw it multiple times before. Wait. 
which is quite strange. The elevator was working, so that means that the rest of the electricity is also still transmitting and working in this place. I mean, the power is still running. Take a look, this was another part of the storage. I don't even need to use my camera light there, it's quite insane. Even boxes from famous brands like Adidas and everything. With the prices and very, very cheap. I think they were for children. So I'm going to one other part. There is actually another store. But I cannot use my lie there because it's next to the road. And we will be too conspicuous. So I need to be very, very safe and cautious. Okay. I will just do it with my phone. So over here was another store. As you can see also still products in the shelves. And over here, I'm sorry you can barely see anything but this is the street right away. It's crazy. I mean this is a wooden store. It's almost completely empty. I will quickly use my light one time only. So where it's saying you're not allowed to go in because it's the office. And also in this room the lights are still on. So strange. Take a look. Computer here. So this was the office part. The past owners of the shopping mall. All the files, the registration, everything was done in this small office. While listening to some music as well, some old CDs here. Belgian artist. Oh my! A lot of wines here, some red wines, but also some Belgian beers. Duvel is a quite strong beer. West Malle, all still in the pack. Unbelievable. So this was kind of a garage, a shed. But it does some mechanic things. Just some tools and appliances inside of here. Some of them look quite new. There's a jacket laying here. All the different shoe sizes converted to other scales, European, American sizes, etc. This is quite strange. The front of a fireplace. And then it's time to show you the most impressive part of the shopping mall. Prima Moda. I don't know if that was actually the name of the mall or it was just like a shop inside of here. Some posters of Nike. And this is absolutely going to be insane what you're about to see. I think, honestly, you will jump off your chair. Because when we saw this, our mouth was wide open. Take a look. This is unreal. Everywhere are clothes. Literally everywhere. I don't know where to begin. And if I have to go in detail, this video will take hours and hours. Sucks here. All the shoes positioned next to each other. The boots, the leather shoes. It's just like if I'm in an active shop, 
but you of course can smell how it smells here but it's dusty and you can tell it has been abandoned for several years look at these adidas trousers so many stuff even more stockings here in these shelves every piece of clothes had discounts so I assume they definitely tried to sell everything but eventually they could not get rid of all the products All these soles to do inside the shoes. Everything was here and it still is. These shoes look quite nice. Celtics are the same. The other part of the store. Take a look how many shoes. <sighs> All the same ones. All the pairs of similar shoes. But also ties aware on this hanger. Five euros each. That's around six, seven dollars. Advertisements for Nike Air Max. Socks, but also some soft shoes, sandals. <laughs> I've never seen so many shoes in one place, and especially not in an abandoned one. And then here we are, all the boxes, and this is where we filmed our intro. Also other socks here and some more, more advertisements here from Adidas and football. I really can't believe that we are inside of here in such a good state. I mean you can tell that nobody found this place but also the fact that Belgium has a very low Rhyme rate because how elsewise would this be possible? This makes me actually pretty sad to see that these children clothes are all left behind and they're doing nothing with it. Nike tea. Look like some football clothes, but maybe for another sport. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. And then another part here. Then it's time after all the amazing months and I just don't know the right word for it anymore. I'm really flabbergasted but this is the final floor. You can tell they also did a lot of storage over here. All the stacks. But then <laughs> look at this. A large collection of skis so many of them <sighs> oh my gosh
this must be worth a lot and a lot of money no doubt and then on the other side all the roller skates take a look they're all just standing there Literally no words for this place we found in Belgium. We explored it completely. I don't know what else to say and I just I'm really curious for your opinion too. I mean what did you thought about this place? Did you thought it was that unique like I did? Just leave it down in the comment section below and please if you like this place leave a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to our channel down below. Our name is Explomo and we upload videos of abandoned places like this every single week after all really want to thank you for watching peace out and we will see you on our next adventure Oh,